So I've got 10 credit cards and this one right here was one of the first cards I ever got when I obviously knew nothing about credit cards. It's called the Wells Fargo Platinum Visa and it offers no rewards whatsoever so I've stopped using it. However, since this is one of my oldest credit accounts, I didn't want the card to get closed as it would hurt my credit score. So what I've done this whole time is use it once a year on coffee to keep it open until now where I decided to upgrade it to the Wells Fargo Autograph card, which is a super underrated credit card in my opinion, and might be the only card most of you need in your wallet based on the amount of rewards it offers. So today I wanna to go over everything it offers to help you determine if it's a right fit for you. So to begin with, this card currently offers a sign-up bonus of 20,000 points after you spend $1,000 in the first three months, which is a $200 value. And they're also offering zero intro APR for 12 months on purchases. So if you're looking to make a big purchase anytime soon, you can use this card to earn a free $200 and pay for your purchases without interest for a full year as long as you make your minimum payments on time. Keep in mind this bonus is for new members only, so since I upgraded to this card and kept my same account number, rather than open a new one, I unfortunately didn't get access to this bonus. But I'm okay with that because I now have a card I can actually use and earn rewards from. So let's dive into all the categories you can earn cash back on with this card. With the Wells Fargo Autograph card, you'll get unlimited 3x points on restaurants, travel, gas, transit, popular streaming services, phone plans, and 1x points on all other purchases. So it pretty much covers every useful real life category you can possibly think of, and it pays you 3% cash back on them, making this card a must have. So let's dive a little deeper into what purchases qualify for each of these 3x categories. Restaurants include dine-in, takeout, catering, and deliveries. Travel includes airlines, hotels and motels, car rentals, cruise lines, timeshares, travel agencies, discount travel sites, and campgrounds. Gas includes gas stations and electric vehicle charging stations. Transit includes subways, ride shares, parking, tolls, and more. Phone plans include cell phone and landline providers, and popular streaming services include cable and pay TV, digital goods, books, music, movies, and eligible subscription services like the one shown on the screen. As you can see, Netflix, Hulu, and other popular streaming services aren't on this list, but they do stay in the bottom to check back for updates. So they might be adding new services to this list later on in the future for those who use other ones. So whether you're looking for a card to cover dining, travel, gas, transit, streaming services, or your phone bill, this credit card is a great option because it offers all those 3X multipliers with no annual fee. So you'll be earning a ton of cash back completely for free. Now the points you earn from this card don't expire as long as your account is open and each point is worth one cent. So to calculate the value of your points, all you have to do is multiply them by one cent. For example, the 20,000 signup bonus points equals $200, 30,000 points equals $300, 50,000 points equals $500, and so on. Moving on, you can redeem your points for a cash deposit into a Wells Fargo account, a paper check, cash via an ATM withdrawal, a statement credit to cover eligible purchases you've made. You can also book travel through the Wells Fargo portal, buy gift cards, donate or gift your points, or you can use your points to shop online at participating merchants. Now I do want to point out that there are minimum redemption requirements if you choose to redeem for cash, like a cash deposit or a credit to a qualifying Wells Fargo account, a paper check, or cash via an ATM withdrawal. If you're redeeming your points by phone or online, you can only redeem them in $25 increments, so you'll need a minimum of 2,500 points to redeem, and if you choose to redeem them via a Wells Fargo ATM, you can do so in $20 increments, so every 2,000 points. So you'll have a ton of ways to redeem your points with this card. It's all a matter of personal preference. Moving on, this card offers a ton of great benefits like cell phone protection and up to $600 against damage or theft when you pay your phone bill using the card, auto rental collision damage waiver, travel and emergency services assistance, roadside dispatch, emergency cash disbursement and card replacements, my Wells Fargo deals, which give you access to personalized cashback deals from select merchants and zero liability protection. So you won't be responsible for unauthorized transactions made on the card. On top of all that, this card has no foreign transaction fees. So you won't be charged any fees when using the card outside of the US. And it's also a visa signature card. So it comes with extra benefits like 24 seven concierge services to help you book travel, get tickets and much more. You'll also get access to the Visa Signature Luxury Hotel Collection, where you'll get premium benefits when you use your card to book through their portal. 
which includes the best available rates, automatic room upgrades upon arrival of available, complimentary Wi-Fi and breakfast for two, a $25 food or beverage credit, VIP guest status, and late checkout upon request if available. If you want to learn more about these benefits, check out the link in the description. Now, something that's really cool about this card is that since it's a Visa Signature credit card, the minimum starting credit limit for this type of card is $5,000. In other words, if you apply for it and you get accepted, the lowest limit you'll be approved for is $5,000. I've actually seen people get approved for up to $30,000, so you can expect limits between five dollars to $30,000, obviously based on your credit score and other factors. So if you're looking for a high limit credit card, this might be a great option for you. And if you're wondering, Wells Fargo may pull your credit from any of the three major credit bureaus when you apply for their credit cards. Now my credit limit on this card isn't anywhere near that because again, I did a product change instead of applying for a new card. And when you do that, your previous credit limit gets transferred to the new card. However, I plan on using the card frequently and asking for a credit limit increase in the future. Now looks wise, the card has this gradient purple and red color in the front, displaying the Wells Fargo logo, the name of the card, my name, and the Visa Signature logo. And the back is plain purple and displays your card number, CVV, expiration date, and all that good stuff. Honestly, when you first hold it, the card feels a little heavy, so I thought it was a metal card, but although it's heavy and thick, I believe it's just plastic. All in all, it looks and feels really nice in my opinion, but comment below and let me know your thoughts. Now the question is, should you get the Wells Fargo autograph card? Well, the answer is yes, if you frequently spend in the three X categories offered by the card, like restaurants, travel, gas, transit, popular streaming services, and phone plans, because you'll earn cash back on all those purchases. It's also a big yes if you're looking for an easy to use cashback card where you don't have to worry about rotating categories or activations. All you need to do is swipe away and you'll automatically earn cash back without limits. If you're looking for a credit card with no annual fee or foreign transaction fees, you can use anywhere. If you're looking to make a big purchase and you want a card that offers a nice sign up bonus as well as no interest payments for up to 12 months. And if you're looking for a credit card with cell phone protection along with other useful benefits, then this credit card is obviously a no brainer. On the other hand, if you have credit cards that earn higher rewards in the bonus spending categories, you don't spend money in these categories, or if you're looking for premium travel rewards and benefits with higher redemption values and no redemption restrictions, then this credit card might not be the best option for you. Another thing worth noting is that although the autograph card offers a mix of rewards and redemption options, your points are only worth one cent each. And you also can transfer your points to any airline or hotel partners, which limits the card's potential value when compared to its competitors who allow you to move points around and potentially get more value out of them. Overall, I really like this card. It may not be talked about often because of what we just went over, but it does offer a bunch of coverage on many common spending categories, making it extremely valuable in my opinion. I mean, if your team cash back, one way you can use it is as your primary card for covering the 3x bonus spending categories and for non-category spending, so any spending outside of that, you can simply use another card like the SoFi credit card that offers 2% cash back on all purchases, that way you maximize your returns. Now for me, since I already have 10 credit cards that cover most of these 3x categories, I'll mostly be using this card to pay my phone bill because my other cards don't currently cover that. So product changing my old Wells Fargo card to this one was a win-win because I'm now getting value out of a card as opposed to nothing before. Overall, the possibilities are endless with the Wells Fargo Autograph card, making it an attractive option for a lot of people, especially those looking for a one card cashback setup, so don't sleep on it peeps. However, there are a ton of other great credit cards in the market that may be a better option for you than this one. So the last thing I wanna say is to always make sure a credit card's reward structure aligns with your spending habits. Because while this card makes sense for others, it might not for you. So there you have it, peeps. Let me know below what you guys think about the Wells Fargo Autograph credit card. And if you guys made it this far into the video, comment the word autograph so I know who my loyal besties are. And by the way, Rakuten, my favorite shopping portal for earning cash back on all my purchases, is offering a $30 sign up bonus after you spend $30 for a limited time, plus cash back on a ton of popular stores. So make sure to check out the link in the description to get your free $30 today. As always, that's the best way to support the channel. I love you guys. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. That way you don't miss out on any future uploads. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to watch these other ones next. Okay.
Bye now.